Hey guys, CB Super. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to customize actual characters inside a text. The first way is going to be in the regular text node, and the second way will be in the text plus, which is the upgraded fusion version for the text node. Let's go ahead and take a look at the text title first. I'm just going to drop a new title onto my timeline. It's actually really easy to create custom text inside of this title. I'm just going to size this up so we can see it a little bit better. I can actually hold my cursor down and I can just select the characters that I want to customize inside of my text panel here. And I can go ahead and just size those up by themselves. I can change the color of those individual characters. I can even change the font. If I want to maybe change this to a different font, I can do that. So that's really easy to do, but it's a little bit harder to do inside of the text plus node. So let's go ahead and bring in a text plus node and let's try to do the same thing. So if I try to select this, maybe I want to change the color. Uh, it just changes the color of the entire title. That's not what I want. Maybe, maybe if I just change the size. Nope, that still doesn't do it. So the text plus node, although more useful if we jump into the fusion panel, it's not as useful if we're using it inside of the actual edit tab. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can customize the text plus node inside of the fusion panel. Let's go ahead and start a new fusion composition and let's jump right in. Here we are in the Fusion tab. I'm just going to bring down a brand new text node and plug it into my media output. So let's say I want to change the X in this word text and I want to either increase the size, maybe rotate it and change the color. Well, there's a really easy way to do that. You can't actually do it with any of the panels within the actual text node. You have to use a modifier. So let's go ahead and jump into the modifiers by right clicking in the styled text section and click on character level styling. That's gonna open up this modifier tab. I'm just going to select whichever character that I actually want to modify. And you'll know that it's selected because it gets these little green brackets around it. Now I'm gonna jump over to the modifiers tab and this is where we're actually going to modify it. So the first tab is the text tab and this is nice because you can still change. Let's say I wanna change this to a lowercase x. I can do that here. I'm going to leave it as an uppercase x and I'm actually going to change the font of this text. Maybe we'll change it to whatever this is. That's actually not a font. I probably should have done this ahead of time. All right, there we go. So here you can change the font. You can actually change the kerning or the space in between the actual character that you modified. You can change the size if I want to size it down, maybe to match a little bit better, I can do that. I can also size it up if I want to emphasize that specific character. I can also come over to the transform tab where I can actually change the rotation of the individual character. I can go ahead and rotate it in sort of a 2.5D space. And of course, I can increase the size in either the X or the Y. Keep in mind that when you do this, it doesn't actually move the spacing or the tracking in between each of these characters. All it does is it simply stretches it. So I'm gonna Command Z that. Let's jump over to the shading tab where all the real magic happens. You can change the color simply by just changing the color. You can make it an outline. You could change the thickness of that outline, Command Z that. You can even come in and give it additional elements. So if I wanted to enable the second element, you'll notice that it gives it a yellow fill or a white fill or whatever color fill you want it to have. You can also give it a outline if you didn't do that in the first element. Say I want to give it a black outline, I can increase the thickness if I want. So you can play around with the different elements if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and undo do that element come back to element one and I'm going to leave it as is you do have the option to animate if you want you can always come into the very beginning of the text tab you can right click here for character level and click on animate and then if I wanted to come over here I could change the color maybe I want it to start out white and at frame 10 I want it to be red so if I go back and I preview this you'll now see that it changes to red so that is one way you could get some easy animation and the best part about this is if we come back over into the text node, we still have all of the same types of animation that are available for the text node. So if I wanted to do a write on effect, I could. If I wanna come over here to the layout tab, change it from point to path and then create an actual path. And then I can position this path so I can actually have the, the text moving along this path. You still have that option, which is pretty cool because if I was to use a bunch of masks and change the color and whatnot, you'd probably lose a lot of that functionality. All right, so that's pretty much it for customizing individual characters inside of the text node. I know it's really easy, but I get this question a lot. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, do all the things that YouTube people do, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.